Hey dudes, what's going on? Lush Seal here and I'm here with a 10 things you may or may not have uh, known about me um, video thing. So the reason for me doing this is because Brass Phoenix, uh, he did one of these a while back, a um, couple of weeks maybe, and he tagged me in it to do it. So I thought, you know, why not? Um, seems like fun. I kind of like watching other people do these. Just, you know, to actually learn a little bit about them. Um, so, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy that and want to learn a little bit about me because you're all CD stalkers like me. Okay, so let's let's move on to um, my list. So I have a list here written down in front of me. You can't tell because there's no, you know, face cam or anything because I, I, I don't know, I just decided to not do that. Anyway, the first point I have on here is, I've already done one of these. Um, I made uh, like a top 50 fun facts you didn't know about Seal, like a year ago maybe? Um, so I might, you know, put an annotation to that video here, but you know, having a look at it, there was a lot of stupid shit on it, it was that like you didn't really care about. Um, saying that though, from memory that video was a lot of fun to make and I had a like I think it took me all day to make and I yeah as I said I had a lot of fun making it and I reckon you should totally check it out because it's stupid but great in my opinion I don't know um the next thing I have on here is I got a tattoo um if I had a webcam, I could show you. Otherwise, I'll probably just take a picture of it. Basically, what it is, is it's the Triforce from Zelda on my arm, on my left arm. Um, you may or may not have noticed it in a couple of videos on my webcam. Um, I got it when I was in Canada, and it should have been mentioned in my America Canada vlog thing right at the end um, so I might you know put in a little annotation for that as well because um, that was the thing I did um, yep anyway speaking of Canada next point here I have here so point number three is I have been out of the country out of the country my, the country being Australia a uh, total of four times now I won't go into too much detail about this um, I might do that in a separate video um, because, you know, four times is kind of a lot for someone my age, probably. Um, but I will kind of briefly go over where I've been. So the first place I went to was to Fiji. I went there when I was 17 with my friend and my parents. Um, I went there in 2010, I want to say. Yeah, 2010. Um, then in 2012, I went to Europe with another friend. Um, and we were there for about two months and we went around there. We went to like a few different countries there. And it was fucking amazing. Trip of a lifetime type thing. And I really want to go back. Um, the next trip I did was in the last year, so 2014, um, where I went to America. Um, this was where I met um, Zach in August for the first time, um, which was really awesome. And I'm glad I went, glad I managed to get the funds to do so um, and the next trip the last trip I've been on was this year I went to America again and to Canada um, I met up with Zach in August again and I met Krim for the first time so that was in person that is and that was pretty sweet as well um, so yeah as I said I'll probably make a separate video to just talk about these trips um, I'm You've kind of, I guess you've kind of gotten videos for the two America trips because I was doing YouTube at the time, but it wasn't really me speaking about it. It was more kind of here's some footage and random moments that I decided to take photos, not really talking or stories about it. Anyway, on to my next point. And my next point is number four. Um, I'm a massive fan of music. Um, before I kind of consider myself a gamer, I consider myself a music person, if that makes sense. Um, like, 
I have 200 plus CDs. I still buy CDs. Um, I still buy my music. Um, I don't pirate anything. I, I'm the type of person who prefers to have physical copies of everything, including my games and stuff. Um, apart from PC games, for whatever reason, I buy them through Steam. But my music, if I can buy it on a CD, I will. Otherwise, I'll buy it on iTunes. Um, if it's just like a single of like a random pop song, like a you know, pop song from Miles Doris, then I'll buy it just from iTunes, but I'll still buy it, is the thing. Um, yeah, and I used to be in the school band, so that made me like appreciate um, like show music and movie music, that type of stuff as well. Um, so what that meant, and that kind of then in turn went into game music as well. I really... I'm a fan of game music, if a game has really good music, really memorable music, then I will, you know, most likely enjoy the music. That's probably why I like Zelda so much, because the music is just so fucking good. Um, and then this kind of leads me on to my next point. Um, movie music, I used to work in a cinema, um, which exposed me more to movie music, because I had to be in cinemas to clean the cinemas at the end of the movie, so I would listen to a lot of credit music. Um, but yeah, this kind of leads me on to point number five, and that is, you know, where I've worked. Um, so as I said, I used to work at a cinema. Um, I worked there for three years, but before that, I worked at McDonald's, or as Australians call it, Mackey's. Um, <coughs> where I, and at Mackey's, I worked there for two years or so, two and a half. Um, then I worked at the cinema, then after the cinema I was unemployed for a year, then I worked at Domino's for almost a year. Um, <laughs> then after Domino's I became a travel agent. Um, I have only just recently quit there um, after having worked there for about six months or seven months. Um, reason why I quit there was so I can go to uni and do uni full time. Um, as in previous vlogs, and what's that meant is I have gotten myself another cinema job um, at another cinema to what I previously worked at. Um, so that was point number five. Uh, point number six. Um, you might have heard this, but I don't drink. So I don't drink alcohol at all. Like I used to drink, I will say that. Um, however, I didn't really drink very much. Um, and or very often, I should say, but when I did drink, I tend to drink to get drunk, and that's not really a good thing. Um, like, I never really like the taste of stuff. Like, beer is fucking awful. Uh, I kind of like cider, and so what ended up happening was I would have, you know, spirits mixed with stuff, and that is bad. <laughs> I guess, well, anything in large amounts is bad, but, eh, anyway, I don't drink, I haven't since around 2013, it's currently 2015, so that's about two years, um, yeah, so that's a, that's a little thing, uh, I don't drink for a whole host of reasons, uh, I'm not going to go into that, um, if you do drink, okay, I don't care, I don't drink, I'm not judging, the only time I'll judge is if I, if you drink, like, every night, and are an alcoholic. That's one I'll judge. <laughs> um, my seventh point is I used to have long hair. Um, I kind of have longish hair for a guy now. Um, my fringe is long. It goes down to like my mouth. I just measured it then. Um, but the rest of my hair used to also be long. Um, this isn't the case now. So here's some pictures of what my hair used to look like. Um, I used to have to like tie it back when I worked, I don't know if I had to, but I did, um, and, and yeah, then it kind of pissed me off, so I cut it, it would go on my face a lot, so I was like, nah, fuck this, um, yeah, so on to my next point, so point number eight is, um, I have a dog, and his name is Bert, and he's like, what, 11 or 12, and he's a little fatty, but he is still basically a puppy. It is awesome. Um, you might have seen Bert in the past in some like random video or whatever if you've been around for a while. Um, but yeah, 
He's awesome. He is my dog. And his name is Bert. And he barks. Um, so point number nine um, is I have been skydiving. Um, I, you know, one day when I was in Switzerland, <laughs> decided with my friend to go up in a helicopter whilst attached to two strangers. And then these two strangers decided to jump out of the helicopter. And we were like, what the hell, man? But then they pulled a parachute. So then we survived. So that was really cool. Um, it was a really cool experience, though. I might put up some photos here as well if I can find them. Um, uh, I guess I probably wouldn't skydive by myself. Um, I probably really wouldn't be able to bring myself to jump or to like focus to actually pull the chute. Um, I might do it again one day, as in skydiving, but with someone. What tangent skydiving, whatever it's called. Um, I might, I might do it again, but. It is something that I think you should do if you get the chance. And doing it in Switzerland, it was pretty as fuck. There were so many mountains and stuff and snow and oh my god. Okay, <laughs> um, so on to my last point. And uh, again, this one will be something where I will probably make a separate video about it. Uh, but I just want to list, I guess, two of my favorite games. Um, yeah, as I said, they'll probably be in a separate video, into more detail and stuff, but two of my favorite games, like, ever, super nostalgia, that I played a lot, um, first one was Spyro 2, I don't know why, it's the second one I played more, um, I think I remember playing it for the first time, and I think the simple thing of jumping into water and being able to swim, that was like really super amazing for me because the first one you can swim um, and I think from then on I just kind of fell in love and tried to play it as much as I could and played it all with my brother. Um, the other game I had on here was Warcraft 3. Um, this game is a game that I will always go back to um, to play the campaign because the campaign was fucking awesome. Um, and I guess it's, oh, not really, um, one of the games that got me into RTS type games, um, because it's made by the people who made StarCraft, um, and if I hadn't played Warcraft 3, I might not have gotten into StarCraft 2, and then therefore gaming in general and blah, 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 um, but yeah, as I said, I'll probably make a separate video about my favorite games, whether it be like a top 5 or top 10 type thing, I don't know, um, but yeah, that was, that was 10 things you may or may not have known about me. Um, I hope you found it interesting and I won't, I won't bother tagging people, but I'll do, you know, friendly reminder that, uh, Brass tagged August Krim and Zach, so, uh, you guys should probably maybe get on it, um, because I want to be creepy and stalkery and learn some things about you guys that I might not know. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go now. This is a little weird. And also, it's a bit late at night. My parents are asleep. Yeah. Anyway.